Hello everybody, welcome to the DP garden. Uh, you know how much, some of you, I like being out in the garden. I've got to that age, garden shed, really exciting. Um, well, I keep forgetting actually what we've put in here. So fantastic to see some, uh, the surprise of seeing some tulips coming up, which I completely forgotten we planted. Um, maybe surprises here there are no surprises with you and how you smashed the mental health training last week and really did a great job there uh, thank you to all of you who took part and um, i thought it was a bit of pressure on the day three people because the first two days 100 percent in the test but uh, day three you you did it as well not one mark dropped in across the three days worth of tests um, thank you and th it was great to see people mixing from all the different projects as well i hope that was helpful I know that for some of you, the, the training brought up some stuff which, you know, you're working through. And if it's you, sort of talk to your line manager or Claire or I, then please do that. But uh, thank you again for all you did there. Um, we're going to be sending out or you will have received on Monday morning a letter from me about your salaries from April. As we said, we're trying to we're, we want to com commit ourselves to the Living Wage Foundation and their minimum level is £12 an hour. But we also want to keep our salary structure and give everybody a cost of living increase, recognising inflation being what it has been. So uh, you'll get a letter. We're trying to do that while also balancing that generosity versus being really good stewards and making sure we don't get into cash flow problems. So I hope that lands well with you. Uh, if you've got any questions, do come back to me, obviously. Um, and I'll be making my way around this week because uh, the goal is to try and get round every project in the next week or so to celebrate the fact that Monday the 18th is the 20th anniversary of Faithworks being registered as a charity. So I'll be coming around uh, with some little thank you cakes to you and your teams uh, made by our friends at Crumbs, but also some little, little gifts to give away, little gifts of chalky eggs to give away to either those who have maybe been really important in getting you or your volunteers into the project or just simply someone who's made a real difference to the project. And we're going to ask all of you and all of them to take a photo of what Faithworks means to them and or to you and we're going to put all those photos into a big collage big gallery probably in the shape of faith works which we'll use at events later on in the year so if you can help us with that that would be great um i was talking about surprises in here i shouldn't be i guess surprised at the stories i keep on hearing about how you're bringing hope to people um rachel from smile land was telling me on friday they had uh, they had a visitor from the national energy action team and uh, 14 of the fam of the mums gave uh, mums and dads gave their details and were entered into a little raffle for an air fryer and she got a call rachel a bit of a, a bit while later from a 12 year old in one of those families who's having a bit of a struggle at the moment because their family won the air fryer and it was it was a <laughs> it was a real surprise for them but what a surprise because their uh, oven had not been working for the last x weeks and they hadn't been able to get it fixed and an air fryer turned up just at the right time. What a great surprise. And then there was another one where we'd been working with a dad, a smile dad, who's had a really terrible time. Mum died uh, through suicide uh, earlier on in the year. They'd been put into temporary accommodation, emergency B&B. &B. It had been a really rough ride, but the smile team had been alongside. Paul, Food Bank, CMA are working with them. And uh, the, the team on Friday at the Smile Coffee Time bought Dad a birthday cake because it was his birthday. And uh, they all sang happy birthday. And then one of the mums brilliantly brought in a little cake and a card that the little child could sign for his dad. And so that, the, that made it even more special. And what triply special was they'd just been offered a flat in pool by the local council. David and Rachel had sat down and chatted and talked to the housing officer at the start of the week. And an offer of a flat has come through with a garden on the ground floor. Sounds ideal. So we are hugely grateful to God for that. I'm hugely grateful to you. There's a nice little verse in the email version of this you'll see. But thank you. Have a great week. And I hope you find some surprises too, some good surprises. Take care.